Alright guys, welcome back to another Fortnite video, and this time it is time to talk about a bunch of stuff related to Fortnite Mares. That is right guys, this update is absolutely insane. So we are going to be going through the brand new challenges, at least the first part of them. I'll explain that, but that features like how to do the cube monster challenges, where the gargoyles are and stuff like that, and more. How to get them done in the easiest way possible, and also with that, just going over the basics of the event. This isn't going to be my secret changes video or anything like that, but since the update just went live and I'm sure a lot of you are at school and stuff like that. We're gonna be covering the new skin and how it's reactive, gameplay of the new weapons and stats, and of course like the cube monsters and stuff like that which will help us understand the challenges for this week and then again we'll jump into the challenges. So honestly guys it's going to be a super fun video. Now if you do find this video helpful be sure to hit that like button down below. Always helps me out a ton you guys are the best and on top of that be sure to comment which is your favorite Halloween skin so far. Is it Skull Trooper? Is it the new ghoul cowboy skin which we're gonna talk about? You know what let's talk about it first of all but leave that comment down below i'm curious to see which skin is your favorite so yes there is a brand new ghoul type skin that you can buy from the item shop and it is not like any skin we've had before because it is reactive if you've seen my previous video about a bunch of changes you'll know exactly what that means but this one specifically the way that it's reactive is it changes depending on damage you do to other players and how long you last in game so it starts out like you know pretty normal and then it gets into this crazy ghoul version of the skin and it's pretty awesome I gotta admit. And like, yeah, as you can see, it goes from this normal looking cowboy skin, which does mean that it is most likely the male version of Calamity. But then once you start getting into game and start doing some stuff, it turns into this like ghoul skin. It's got these like special effects with it. Also, the back bling even changes a little bit. And yeah, as you can see, it does come with a special back bling that's like a mini Kevin almost. It's not like exactly Kevin. It's more of like a piece of a rune or something like that, but it's chained up and it is reactive as well to these same things, apparently. The uh, pickaxe, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it quite yet but it's pretty cool as well it has that same effect to it where apparently it's reactive to stuff that happens in game and this one too says it reacts to how long you stay alive in game and how much damage you do so that will be interesting to see but then on top of that what about the glider well the glider is actually part of the challenges but it's like part four and we'll explain more of that as we go into the actual challenges themselves but it is part of the same set and it is a pretty dope looking glider even though personally I always use like the umbrella gliders just because you can see so much more but I'll probably start start using it. It's a free item that you can get so might as well try. But yeah guys, let's move on to talking about some of the brand new items. And first of all quick, let's go over the crossbow and it's like a crazy Fort Nightmares crossbow version. We've also got the stats on it all of that, you know, fancy details things like that. So yes, the brand new crossbow is specifically called the Fiend Hunter Crossbow, which you gotta admit, that's a pretty awesome sounding name. But yes, this one specifically is for the duration of Fort Nightmares. It specifically says Fort Nightmares Nightmare limited time weapon. So you're only going to be able to get this for like a couple to a few weeks. So be sure to grab it while you can. Now the specifics about it is it's available in an epic variant, which is 40 base damage. And honestly, that is a very low base damage. But with that, you can shoot 1.8 shots per second. And it also has, again, unlimited ammo and a magazine size of seven. So, you know, you can fire a bunch of these in quick succession or fairly quick succession. But still, that's not the main part of this one. Since it's called the Fiend hunter crossbow it has this special ability to do four times the damage against fiends and fiends are the new zombies which we'll talk about in just a little bit here we'll go through all of the details and specifics about those guys so don't worry about that but yes four times the base damage against fiends means 160 damage which will definitely help you out a ton but yes let's move on to the second new weapon the honestly pretty crazy sounding weapon this is another one that has sort of a special way of it working if you know what i mean and the name of this one is called the six shooter but yeah let's get into it with the details of it get into a little bit of gameplay with it maybe but yes this item drops in uncommon rare and epic variants which does mean green blue and purple variants so honestly not that rare of a weapon you will be seeing this a lot more than the new crossbow but then with that you get some different base damage stats so for the uncommon version it is 34 damage per shot then for the rare it is 36 and finally for the epic variant it is 38 however it has the interesting like special effect to this weapon which is that when you shoot from the hip you're able to fire it faster like you're in some wild west film or something like that and like as you can see in this example clip it does shoot pretty fast so who knows if this will be viable at close range you could definitely do a decent amount of damage but again it only has a six round magazine but then on top of that the second part to it is that you can aim down your sights for precision aiming but that comes at the cost at not being able to fire as fast now precision aiming i'm not sure if this is exactly the best way to use this 
this weapon just because of that you know the base damage isn't crazy it's not like a hand cannon where you're getting a decent amount of damage so you will have to hit a bunch of shots with it but who knows we're definitely gonna have to test it out see how it works in game but yeah let's move on here we do have to talk about the cube monsters but you know what that's part of the challenges so let's jump into it right away with the challenges for this week so yes this is part one there are four parts and we're gonna have to see if we can cover them when they officially come out when the next parts come out I mean we'll have to see how hard they are but for these first ones there are some tough ones so I'm gonna show you the best way to do them but getting into it with the challenges for this first part you have four of them and the first of which is to destroy cube monsters a total of 200 which does take time but I'll show you the fastest way to do it and also deal damage with assault rifles or pistols to cube monsters that's the second challenge on top of that you have visit a corrupted area in different matches and then finally dance in front of different gargoyles each of those gives you 500 XP individually but together they get you a special little emote and it's also the first part of the challenges so you might as well do it but yeah guys for the cube monsters challenges let's first talk about the um, destroy cube monsters a total of 200 that is 200 monsters individually so it will take you quite a bit of time but what even are cube monsters how do you find them and how do you eliminate them well they are kind of the husks or zombies from the save the world mode but transferred over to battle royale and specifically they show up at these weird little cube formations around the map now I believe a bunch of these are random they might have some consistently at like different corrupted zones so you might as well check out corrupted zones like as you can see right here but again I do believe a bunch of them spawn randomly and, and what I mean by that is that occasionally at the beginning of games or close to the beginning you hear this sound which sounds a bit like lightning and you can also see a bit of lightning from the sky if you can keep track of that and see where exactly that is happening that lightning and stuff means that a new cube monster spawn has appeared on the map so like for this example right here I'm just gliding on in towards where I heard that get put down and then a bunch of monsters spawn in front of it and I can eliminate them and work towards this challenge again though it takes a lot of ammo so definitely uh, stock up on ammo and stuff like that but that actually leads me to the second challenge here and the tip I have for that one and that again is the deal damage with assault rifles or pistols to cube monsters you need a total of 5,000 damage but just focus on this one at first because when you're working on this one you'll also just destroy cube monsters and work on that one as well and honestly you should be using an AR for these it's just an easy way to do it but I mean you can do it with any weapon but again if you do it with an AR you're working on two challenges at once so might as well start out with that so yeah guys on top of that you also have the visit a corrupted area in different matches so again you can't do this in one match and I'm also not sure if it means the different corrupted zones it seems like you could go to the same corrupted zone just in different matches and it would count so maybe try a little bit of both but as you can see right here this is where the corrupted zones are again you can see them on the map pretty obviously they're the gray areas but just land at those whenever you're starting a game and honestly if you're trying to destroy cube monsters there's generally those spawn points near the corrupted zone so again you can maybe do like three challenges at once if you're landing at the corrupted zones grabbing some assault rifles and then going to those cube spawns and destroying cube monsters that is like getting three challenges at once so you might as well try to do it that way and save yourself a bit of time but after that then though you have the probably well, I don't know it's not really the toughest challenge of the set I'd say the one where you have to eliminate like 200 cube monsters is definitely the toughest it's gonna take the most amount of time but this one is still tough to just find and do in general but that's why I'm helping you guys out to make it super easy and that is the dance in front of different gargoyle statues around the map that is right guys I have got all of the locations you need in order to get this challenge done as fast as possible and as easy as possible and also thanks to defaulty boy and gamer 7 Harry on Twitter for helping me find a couple of these and yeah guys if you don't know what a gargoyle is basically it's like this creepy looking creature that has like wings coming out of it and this is what the statue looks like itself it's a very interesting looking statue and also with that it does make a certain sound which I will play for you right here just so you know these are the exact ones that you want to go in front of But yeah, this is what they look like, and I'll show you all of the locations here. But first of all, one important tip that I can give you guys is to not do these in Disco Domination. I tried doing them, but I'm pretty sure it does not work in that game mode. Maybe I just ran into a bug or something, but I didn't get like the challenge notification when I danced in front of one of these in Disco Domination. But when I did it in Solo, it did work. So maybe to just be on the safe side, do it in a game mode like Solo. Probably duos or squads will work as well. But also with Disco Domination, you have to wait until the end of 
of the match anyways, so it's kind of not the best way to do it. So yeah, once you're in a solo game or something like that, for example here with this first location, it is at the castle. The pretty obvious one of the bunch, but the other ones are more hidden. But as you go to the castle, you know, just glide in. It's not these little weird green statues at the front and sides, it's the one inside and you just dance in front of it and that will get you one gargoyle done for the challenge. You see guys, it's really not that hard. Now for the next location I want to show you, this one is in Vikings Village. Now I don't believe there's one in the graveyard at Haunted Hills. Correct me if I'm wrong, I checked over there and I didn't think I saw one. But yeah, the Viking Village, this one again, it's on top of the giant hill, but instead you want to go into the biggest building over here on the highest point of this hill, like the dining area or whatever you want to call it, and there's one simply sitting inside of there. So go to that one, dance in front of it, and that's how you get that one done. On top of that, there's also one at Retail Row. So when you go to Retail Row, you want to go over to the sort of store section of the area and find the Halloween shop. Once you find this Halloween shop, you want to go into the left side of it and you can find a gargoyle among the decorations. So yeah, it looks pretty hidden, but just listen for that sound I showed you guys and you should be able to find it pretty easily. But again, just as a reminder, it's on the left side, right among the decorations, as you can see. Then for the fourth location, you can go over to the north to Tomato Temple. There is one over here and it is in the courtyard of Tomato Temple. So not like at the big tomato statue. It's in front of it in this lower portion, as you can see inside of this, you know, little broken down square. But you should be able to land right at that one and dance in front of it in no time. And then for the final one I want to show you in this video, it's actually pretty close to the castle. So you may want to go to this one right after you get the one at the castle. But it is inside of the umbrella next to the motel and between Lazy Links. So as you can see, you go into the umbrella, go into the very bottom and break down a bunch of the stuff so that you can get into the very back. And that is where you will find another gargoyle to dance in front of. But yeah, guys, once you have all of that done, that should be it for the challenges and you should have the first part completed. Now, I'm pretty sure I will be posting more of these guides soon. We'll have to see how hard the other challenges are. So we'll see about that. But yeah, guys, either way, be sure to subscribe. I post a bunch of awesome videos and you definitely don't want to miss them. And on top of that, you can check out some of my previous videos here, such as an awesome one on the left and an awesome one on the right. Click either one. They're both some amazing videos. But other than that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.